back in the I formation for the Hogs first play. Play action and Kelly on the roll. He's a runner too. Big fella slides down at two. At Louisiana facing a third and six. Kirk. His first third down of the night. To screen. Dropped off short. And this is Austin Cantrell. And he's knocked down. That was a message sent to his team because they showed up flat last week against AM. There's Kelly with a short completion, and Deion Stewart cannot escape but right at the. Has been pushed. And we'll see how they respond throughout the game, even if they build a lead. Play action on second down. Kelly has time in the pocket. Incomplete. You can see that he zipped the ball. It's power five competition. The Hogs have struggled on third down. Alabama, one of those complex looks. Pressuring the young quarterback who escapes. Fire is incomplete. Could have won for some years. A little bit of hesitation. He's fading. He does the hard part. You're right. Here comes that complex scheme. They got to him. But he avoids it. He pulls away out of Tony Brown. There's nobody to his right. Not one defender to his right. Mark Rick has those guys believing they're finding ways to win. You give Chase Hayden the football, the true freshman, able to dive free. This will be challenged today for, for the teammates. Short completion. He can play is not being physical. Need four yards for their first first down tonight. Tide bring pressure. Big fella stands in and delivers. And it's English team in third and four. Play action. Wanted to throw in a first down. Will be swallowed up and dropped for a short loss. We talked about against the line that's that's being mixed and matched right now to get their best five on the field. This is a lot of what Cole Kelly did against AM. Kept coming in in third and short and different look and keeping an eye on this guy right here, Mika Fitzpatrick. Pressure again. Big fella spun around, throws a desperation ball. And sophomore is the back. Kelly goes straight back, thinking screen. And now this finally does dump it off to Whaley, who's hit. Early down play action could help them tonight. They pick up pressure. Big fella slings it incomplete. For Auburn, they had a nice lead, but LSU did not give up. Third and long again. Kelly spinning, scrambling, pointing, and throwing. It's a screen, but Whaley is underneath. Got to throw here on this down. Can't wait till third down. We're thinking the same thing, but the pocket collapses and he is hammered and knocked down. After the Florida State game, he has not been able to be the same guy because he's just not quite been at 100%. And you'll see him all over the field. They line him up. In this case, it's second down at linebacker, goes right. 16 sacks on the season for the tide. It's the first for Evans. Kelly harassed again and misfire and all this noise. David Williams, and the graduate transfer from South. The linebackers come in and make plays. Play action. Kelly rolls on second down. Third and seven. They've thrown all six previous third downs. They run it this time and going nowhere is Big Cole Kelly. Tied player. Kelly from the pocket. Just there's no kind of move the launch point give him more of a chance third down's been a nightmare Kelly just heaves it no chance no choice first and ten oh, oh. <laughs> 12 before half time Good beauty say Satan is not down for a short game all the way to the end Kelly will heave it downfield for the first time you see the arm strength diving catch Jordan to be able to pull away from the corner Anthony Everett 46 yards on that play. Kelly now back pedals and just fires it away. It's 35. Perkins has got a couple timeouts, 28 seconds to play with here before the break. Kelly from the pocket flips it far side wide open as a soft cushion for Brandon Martin. Tied. Rush five. Incomplete on the sideline. Just nowhere to throw. You've got to try to split them if you're going to throw it downfield. Kelly rolling and just fires along the sidelines. That's <laughs> Kelly stands in, delivers short completion. Hammering down inside the five is <laughs> Kelly flips it middle. In. Perhaps that will give him some confidence. 
Not short on confidence anyway. Here's a slant, and it is complete. That ball zipped in there for a. Here comes pressure. They pick it up, and now with no one to throw to, Kelly backpedals and delivers incomplete. A charismatic, likable leader of that team. They pressure the quarterback again, but it's a nice completion. Stewart takes beat him and man to man to the outside. It's a lot easier into the interior of the defense. Playing with that tempo, a free runner off the end. They dump it down. It's another second down manageable. Pressure again, picked up. Kelly, another linebacker, but he sits back in coverage. And what I really appreciated there by Cole Kelly is he waited for his receiver to clear Sean Deion Hamilton. There he is, 20 in the background. He waited till Jones cleared, but they just cannot come up with a pretty tight coverage there by Levi. Tide. Don't show pressure, bring it late. Because Levi Wallace ends up blitzing out here, but the pressure, the real pressure comes from the edge. The edge pressure from Alabama, which has been missing, by the way, because of all the injured up for that interception. Jet sweep, and they hand the ball off to Deion Stewart. And he positions. Like I said, that was a long throw that just kind of hung out there. Kelly batted up in the air and falls harmlessly comfortable compared to what they've been facing. Tide bring the heat. Kelly stands, delivers. And did he hold on to the football? He bobbled it. Looks like he was able to secure it. They they're might take to, another peek at yeah, that. They're trying to play, trying to see if they can beat the buzzer. John Bible did not buzz down, so the Catch stands and now Whaley has the right side. Now was able to get possession of the football. It wasn't clean there. And a hand and arm in there. It doesn't show a whole lot in terms of ball hitting the ground. Doesn't matter now. They did get the playoff before the buzz down. First down. Starting to get a little more success in early downs. Whaley had a quick personal kind of groupings, formations. Does he see the play clock? Just gets it off. Kelly slings it, and it's complete again. Deion Stewart's been able to win. Hogs need 12 on third. Kelly has good protection this time. And now we'll take off. And look at the big fella. Look at the big fella. Oh, inexperienced, but no less freaky. Kelly on the run. Just fires back in the way to squeeze one into that tight zone. You know, they flip it short, just nothing there. They're short. Sure. They got two plays to get it. Kelly pressured again, escapes, buys time, and just fires. Yeah. And Minka was top five, fourth mm -hmm. on the current Heismanology list. It should be. Kelly steps up, smacking the pressure. Third and 22. Good luck, young fella. Retreating. Chased, knocked down at the once. Beginning to like suppress the strength of the rest of this league. Saber doesn't buy that. There's a bounced pass by Twerkin. They're up. Good point. And there's a slant and a catch and heavy traffic made by D. Bam and Nick Saban. I mean, it's all the way back to 2009. They've kind of separated themselves not only from the SEC, but the whole country. Now just a desperate. Whether it's the head coaches that they currently have or where they are, I think they've fallen back a notch or two. Third and 18. Dangerous. 